Hello guys, recently I started walking around and exploring the world of tiling window managers. I wanted to see what it's all about, I wanted to see how I'm gonna like them and what are my options. So during this research I found this little cute distro that I'm gonna try and show you today. So welcome to Ubuntu Sway Remix and let's have Okay, so this is the website quick of the look Ubuntu at it Sway and Remix. Let's see it's pretty if basic we and nothing special on it for and a few days see, at least. It's already in the same covering scheme, which I really like so far. Huh? You have some basic information with some screenshots here. You can read about the project what the features included and the system requirements of course where and how you can install this little distro so i'm gonna make sure i leave the website address in the comments down below so don't worry about that and let's take a quick look at this distro so why another Linux distro you might ask? Well, why the hell no? Isn't it that the point of the free and open source? Plus there is not that many distros based on Ubuntu and the Sway window manager. So this is already unique here. And the developer of this distro mentioned in one of his videos that he prefers Ubuntu and not Arch for let's say ideological reasons because there is already been Manjaro Sway and Garuda Sway and I think Arco Linux they already have their own spin on Sway but anyway he's been using and heavily inspired by the Manjaro Sway, he just adopted the configuration working on the Ubuntu. As you can imagine, this distro is based on Ubuntu and this is the latest version of the Ubuntu which is 23.04 and it's a really nice implementation of Sway Window Manager if you ask me, I'm not an expert of course. And for those of you who don't like snaps and this is stopping you from using Ubuntu, good news, there's no snaps here, so feel free to check it out. And another question you might ask yourself, what the hell is Sway? So Sway, it's basically how I understand it, the simplest way I can tell you this is i3 window manager on top of the Wayland compositor so I might be wrong please let me know in the comments below I'll be happy to see and fix myself so let's go ahead okay so the first thing that you see when you put in the live environment of course it's the cute little welcome screen and the conky that shows all the important if not all of the key bindings if you get lost you can always take a look at the conky especially if you are new like me this helps a lot so i i really appreciate that okay so let's take a quick look at the ubuntu sway welcome screen you have the calamares installer here uh, you can run the g parted if you are of course knowing what you're doing you have the basic socials you have the website uh, if you go to the next page you can change your shell here they have the bash for default but you can already select let's say this, this shell and fish you can go and install some software this is a really basic but really helpful uh, software manager I might call it so you can change the GTK team this is really nice um, you can go for the Kavamaris installer from here 
but as you can see I already installed this distro on my main machine so I'm gonna leave it for a few days I'm gonna see how I'm gonna like it okay so I'm not gonna go through the installer it's nothing special nothing new I'm sure you already seen this Calamaris installer many many times I'm not gonna waste your time with those so let's have let's take a quick look around this distro I'm not gonna spend too much time I'm sure if you already like what you see you're gonna find it download it for yourself and try it so basically like every window managers there is a bar I think this is way bar correct me if I'm wrong again this is pretty standard bar for Wayland compositors like Sway like Hyperland you have all the basics modules are called here which I found already really useful uh, the only thing is I might just switch some stuff around the way I like it but this is well personal preference uh, on the left you have the workspaces shown here and this button here it's a menu a huge menu which it's already reminds me a lot of the menu that used to be on the Ubuntu Unity and there is all the categories here you have the search screen you can go and see what it's installed I'm not gonna go through every single program that it's installed but you already have everything you need to live on this distro if you want another menu that you can use here it's Rofi of course which is mod D this is a cute little search based menu you just type whatever you want to open like let's say Firefox just hit enter and Firefox is open this menu it's really nice at least I really like it because I'm not huge fan of this big uh, <laughs> this big menu that takes the entire screen of your desktop but hey this is a personal preference again isn't it the last okay so the last thing I want to mention it's the theming as you can see it's heavily greenish which I kinda like uh, it could be better but this is what it's easily changed you already seen even from the welcome screen I'm gonna show you again if you go to the next page go to the change GTK team come on open and you have all the options here to make it and customize the way it is you have everything here from the uh, you can change the coloring you can change the elements of the desktop the bar and the coloring and when you change the team here let's say I'm gonna go for the suite and everything changed as you can see which is really nice you don't have to go into every single config and change it by itself you can just do it from here uh, let's let's change okay I like North Sea you can change it just from here and it's made so easy I really like that usually you have to go through all the configs and configure it by itself you don't have to do that here it's well it made pretty nice okay I'm gonna end up here I don't wanna go too deep into it I'm not that familiar with this distro yet but so far I really like it I might leave it for a few days like I mentioned before to see how that's gonna go for me but if you are interested I'm gonna leave the website and you can download it for yourself check it out and you can always
tell me what you think in the comments below. So that's it from me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.